Hello everyone. Today is February 10, 2021, and I'm going to share a vision of a tsunami wave and its meaning. The Lord gave me back in November 2019. The Lord God showed me a vision, and while in my sleep, in an instant, God opened my spiritual eyes to witness the largest and most terrifying wall of water I have ever seen. It was as if something huge fell in the ocean. Whether in the spirit man or it was being shown to my soul, only God knows. As I was in bed that morning, my sleep was interrupted and in the twinkling of an eye, I was suspended in the air and just in front of me and below, I see this city. I noticed the buildings were all mostly dark in their color schemes. Dark colors represent the sins of the world. I look in front of me and just off the coast, and heading towards that city, I see this big wall of water. Nearly as tall as the clouds above, I stare at it in awe. For anyone who had had vivid visions before, you know that it's just like being there. You can willingly move as you please, unlike normal dreams. And in these visions, you can see colors and sharpness that are otherwise impossible with your physical eyes. I continue staring at this huge wave of water and its slightly indented slope. I can see from afar the ocean's foam moving at its crest. There was no end, no side to this wall. It was just one endless wall of water, as far as the eyes can see. And with that being said, I'd like you to pay attention to the screen. This is similar to what I saw in my vision. I felt no fear the entire time, but I did feel concern for the darkened city awaiting to be destroyed at its foot. Inside and in the center of this wall of water, I see moving flames. This is symbolic to God's judgment. I was somehow made known that the specific location in my vision was the west coast of the United States. I have no affiliation with the west coast of the United States. I do not have any family there. I currently live in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and I have lived here most of my life. I am just a simple husband and a father living in the north central parts of the U.S. mainland. A darkened city, a wave with flames of fire, this is definitely part of God's judgment. The following verse, I believe, is the cataclysm that will trigger this imminent future biblical event. A star burning with fire, first deep impact. The second angel sounds the second trumpet and pours out the second bowl, and with it, a great mountain burning with fire, asteroid, star, was cast into the sea, and the third part of the sea became blood. A third of the sea animals and ships were destroyed. Revelation 8:8-9 and Revelation 16, 3, where the Bible says, And the second angel poured out his vial upon the sea, and it became as blood of dead men, and every living soul died in the sea. Today, as we experience the birth pains, we are currently witnessing the waters turning red as blood. Most recently in Indonesia, where the waters are turning blood red in the past few days. By reason of the start, a mountain burning with fire falling in the ocean, I believe the Pacific Ocean, a great tsunami wave boiling hot and contaminated by the start will reach several nations' coastlines and reach inland and kill many and everything on its path. This judgment will come on an unrepentant world, a people who take delight in their sins. For the love for their sins, they rejected Jesus and rejected God the Father. Today we have become a prideful and selfish people, living our own little lives as if God was not watching us, not willing to admit that God gave us life and that He is so merciful He let us live this long for the purpose of realizing that He is our Creator, that we are His creation, and that we are not our own gods. This short Google Earth video will show you approximately where it seems like I was standing over above Los Angeles inside this vision. And the tsunami wave was just off the coast, heading inland. 
it was big enough that it seems like it could cover the whole state of California, possibly even go inside the mainland. Only God knows how far. Um, it was all across the coast right there. As you can see, there's a deep uh, bed in the ocean. <clears throat> Whatever fell right there in the middle was definitely going to affect the whole Pacific Ocean area. Australia, you're warned. Philippines, you're warned. The coast of uh, Russia, well, you're warned. Alaska, definitely going to get hit. All this area. God is warning us through the body of Christ. July 1st, 2020, 11.30 p.m. As my wife and I worshipped the Lord, we started feeling His presence. And the Lord gave my wife two flash visions. First flash vision was of a beautiful shining blue ceramic bowl with golden trim and white patterns sitting upside down on the floor. It was beautiful unlike any other bow we've seen in the world. Immediately after this vision, my wife asked the Lord, what is the meaning of this vision? What came back was an amazing revelation. This bow represents the bowl of patience of God. This bowl is about completely poured out on the world and is nearly empty. And when this bowl falls out of the Lord's righteous right hand, the age of grace will suddenly end. Then he will give his angels the seven bowls of his wrath and will ask to pour them out on this sin-loving and unrepentant world. Awake, awake, stand up, O Jerusalem, which has drunk at the hand of the Lord the cup of his fury. Thou hast drunk in the drinks of the cup of trembling and wrung the mouth. Isaiah 51, 17. Then I heard a loud voice from the temple saying to the seven angels, Go, pour out the seven bowls of God's wrath on the earth. Revelation 16. Second flash vision, Jesus standing on the clouds, dressed in a bright white robe. He is so beautiful, his skin was radiant and shining with a beautiful light of its own. He was just looking to the side as if he was waiting for someone, and I also saw transparent wings of angels behind him. Family, there's still a little time left to get ready to accept the Lord Jesus and let go of the sins, but the Lord is coming quickly and that window is closing. We can see this day upon us approaching very fast and sadly it will take many by surprise. Consider this a warning for those undecided holding on to sin, you are running out of time. The time for stubbornness and playing games is running out. The bowls of patience is nearly empty and about to drop. Humble yourself before God. Fear the Lord. Trust the Lord. Repent from evil. Resist the devil. Pray, pray, pray that you may be counted worthy to escape the things that are coming on the earth and to stand before the Son of Man, Jesus. Luke 21, 36. Why are you holding back? Give your heart to Jesus Christ and allow him to bless you beyond what this world can offer.